Hello and welcome to another edition of Convict Inc. I am your host, Robert Brasso. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. If you like this video, please push like and share it with your family, friends, neighbors, enemies, etc. Excuse me. Um, I am a few subs short of 12,000. I would appreciate if um, you're not a sub, if you would subscribe to this channel. I was going through um, my stack of prison stuff a few minutes ago, trying to find stuff for the Area Brotherhood series that I promised ages ago. And um, of course, I got sidetracked and I found an old prison commissary sheet. And I thought I would do, you know, a short video about commissary. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, a photo of this commissary sheet and I'm also gonna post it on the community page. I don't know, it's just something a little different. People ask about commissary items in prison, what we get and so forth. So I thought I would go ahead and show you. Now, this does not have the reverse side. And what's it missing? Oh, it's missing the sweats and stuff like that. And it's because this was done during COVID. Um, this was 10-1-2020, so we were locked down for COVID during that time. We got locked down, I think, April the 1st, 2020. Anyway, excuse me. Um, damn, let me do this real quick. Okay, so. Um, I was going to say what, what was my typical commissary list, but it would depend on what time of my life. Uh, if I was using drugs or if I was gambling or if I was running a gambling ticket, then of course I didn't get commissary. But the necessities that I had, you had to be stocked up on, for me anyway, was for sure hygiene, which meant like toothpaste, when we say hygiene, toothpaste, deodorant, uh, is this all that stuff here? No, that was on the back side. Um, oh no, here it is. So I would always have like, the fingernail, toenail clipper, safety scissors, cotton swabs. I had like so much hygiene. Um, and the reason is, is because when I was in Chino Central back in, two, uh, back in 1995, um, I was in a place called Madrone Hall. And really that was for um, violators, for parole or probation violators. And you usually stayed in that unit, you know, three or four days. I stayed seven months. They had me on escape status, even though I didn't escape. It was a messed up deal. But there were times when I didn't have like basics, soap, uh, just stuff that, you know, deodorant, toothpaste. Um, and it's miserable when you don't have that. Um, the store would be screwed up sometimes. I forgot the reasons why when I first came in, it was hard to get. And again, it was a violator's compound. So guys coming off the street, they didn't have time to make canteen or commissary. So they weren't able to get that. So they're always asking, hey, you got to borrow soap. Hey, you know, trying to borrow even this to score the toothpaste. I mean, just terrible. So that made me always real conscious about having a lot of, of hygiene products. So also, and this is like major necessity, would be batteries. Batteries, uh you know, you used to have radios that they'd run off batteries and uh, we'd make battery packs, battery packs as you can get like, for example, you put two batteries in a radio, right? So then you can, you can get like up to eight batteries and have them all taped together and wired all just right. And uh, that way you wouldn't have to constantly change your batteries. I left the radio in my cell going sometimes 24 seven. I remember a month or more, never shutting my radio off. Um, only to change the battery pack. And I had that set up to where I had a little wire where all I had to do was just unplug it and I can just make a battery pack and put it right on. So I didn't have to go through the process of like taking the wires off and then putting it all together. Like it was just made so it can slip on and off. Anyway, that's a whole different story and I'm going down the wrong path by even talking about that. So batteries, batteries were a dollar at Terra Hut. Terra Hut. Um, and let me tell you, I was at Butner, they were like 220 for a pack of four. And having batteries for a dollar for four batteries is awesome. So just in case, because I was always worried that they were gonna, you know, like 
one day just go up to like 250 for a pack because I went through so many batteries. I would have no less than 10 packs of batteries at all times. Never, ever, ever. And if guys would ever ask me for batteries, uh, I might let somebody have a pack or borrow a pack. But um, if I had like nine or less, there was no way they were going to get it. No, I don't have any batteries. Um, you know, for sure. So batteries. And of course, then there's coffee. If you're a coffee drinker, you want coffee. Um, the ones they had here was Folgers, Taster's Choice, and Colombian or Keefe. I did drink Keefe which is a pretty strong Colombian brand coffee. And um, uh, Taster's Choice was really good with cream and sugar. But if I wanted just black coffee, Colombian, Taster's Choice by far. Uh, creamer was $1.20. Oh, I was looking right here, deodorant. Degree deodorant, degree extreme deodorant. We only had two kinds of deodorant. The whole time I was there, it was Power Up deodorant, which was totally cheap. Or degree. I always bought the degree. Um, always had oatmeal. I got to where I was just eating oatmeal plain. And um, it takes a minute to acquire such a taste. But I always had bags of oatmeal. Cheap, quick, uh, add water, throw it in the microwave for a minute, and it's done. You know, oh, I squirted a little bit of honey over the top of it. We did not have honey at Terra Hut. And this is the reason why. So Terra Hut was like a, a non-sugar facility. So even like the sodas, they were diet sodas. And they did that because uh, of people make wine. People make wine out of soda um, or hooch. They'll get vegetables. I mean, I'm sorry, they'll get fruit or tomato paste. And they'll, if they don't have sugar packets, they'll just pour soda right into it. The, so, the sugar from the soda will actually cook, can be used to cook hooch or wine. So... Um, a lot of problems with uh, with uh, sugar at Terre Haute. And let me say this, so in the candy section, you had Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Snickers, Twix, M&Ms. Uh, guys use that for sugar for making wine. Yeah, so that was, a, that was a trip. So candy bars, 95 cents, this is in 2020. Nine, 95 cents for a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Snicker, or Twix. Um, nutty bars, $1.70. Duplex cookies, $1.40. And then you got the chip sections. Nachos or Doritos, uh, $1.95. Flaming Hot Cheetos, $1.95. Regular potato chips, $1.25. And the shebangs, I love shebangs. They were $1.25. And uh, I used to think this was really expensive. I swear to God, I thought we were getting totally reamed in the commissary. And then I came out. When I got out, I realized, man, those prices weren't so bad after all. Um, I mean, you know, and some of the things they were. So uh, they didn't have the pizza kits. Some places had pizza kits. Uh, Butner did. We had microwaves back then. They've since taken microwaves out of a lot of the federal facilities. And they had these things that were just, you know, uh, pizza like a bread. You just put sauce on it, heat it up in the microwave. Uh, little cheese packs were on it too. Um... Bagels for 50 cents a piece. Used to get bagels. Cream cheese, 30 cents, little package. Um, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, that's like the extra stuff. Toothpaste, ultra bright toothpaste, $1.70. That was the cheap kind. I used to keep, you know, several tubes of that stuff. And mostly use Colgate. Although I will say Colgate causes my lips to dry out. And uh, sometimes causes a cold sore, herpes, whatever you want to say. That's that's what it is. After shave, I get that still two dollars and sixty cents, and I love the smell of that stuff. But let's see, where is it? Bagels, uh, flour, quarters, uh, grandma's cookies, and of course, uh, top ramen noodles, thirty cents a piece. Where the hell is their foot? Oh, there's a little fly going crazy in the corner. There's always flies. It's winter time. That one looks like it's dying. Anyway, so ramen noodles were 30 cents for a pack of noodles. Um, where's the hot chocolate? Hot chocolate packs. A little sidebar here, side note. Bernie Madoff at Butner FCI1 bought all the hot chocolates from the commissary. 
So they were 20 cents a piece, I believe. He bought them all and he'd sell them for 30 cents a piece. I was recently asked that about uh, by Jeff Nadu. And uh, that is absolutely true. If you guys ever seen that in the news, I'm the one that first originally brought that to the media's attention. He didn't care. Although I will say I was at uh, Terre Haute when I, when I talked to Steve Fishman for a, um, a podcast called Ponzi Supernova. I was just talking to Steve when he was doing that. And I happened to bring up the issue about Bernie buying the hot chocolate. And I guess like 10 years after the, no, let's say uh, five years after he actually did that, they went down and shook down his cell and I think gave him a shot or a write up for running a store, which was related to me talking about, like he didn't care what I said to the media about him. He gave me the green light to do so. But man, I feel really fucked up about that, to be honest. Yeah, poor old Bernie. Poor old Bernie. I know a lot of people disagree. Carrot cakes, a dollar five. Cinnamon, cinnamon rolls, eighty-five cents. Honey buns, boy, I lived on freaking honey buns. Put peanut butter on them. Uh, let me tell you what I would do with the honey bun. I'd get a a regular Hershey candy bar. Where's the candy bars? So you got chocolate covered peanuts. Ugh. Reese's peanut butter cups, Snickers. I already said this. Twix, M and M. So when they rotated the candy bars, when they would get like Hershey plain, I would put. A Hershey, a, her, a whole Hershey bar over the top of um, honey bun and then put peanut butter on it. And then sometimes I'd get a pint of ice cream and I'd put the pint on it too. Yeah, fat boy stuff. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to go over some of this. Just kind of share with you some commissary uh, items that we had. Chili, chili refried beans, 85 cents. So you had refried beans, chili ramen, uh, chicken ramen, spicy vegetables, chilies with beans. Okay, so then you got um, watch batteries, $2.50, an MP3 player, $88.40, a clear radio, $24.95, skull candy headphones, $26. A DR35 radio, $39. A Sam Jean headphone, $31. All right, I guess that's about it. I will go ahead and post this. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.